Do you hate your job or love it or you're indifferent? Like you don't love it, but it's a steady paycheck and you get health benefits. If so, this video is for you. Here are a few ways to make work funner. Next time you're in a meeting, establish a secret word with your buddy and then see who the first person is that can fit that word very naturally into whatever the conversation is. We actually have increased mayonnaise, the amount of sales. What? Another way to make work funner is to pick a random object with your coworkers and then hide that object around the office, like really hide it. It can be almost anything, a tennis ball, a used retainer, a single cashew, a checker, a copy of Stuff You Should Know About Stuff, a small shoe for a baby, or even a little stuffed hippie. <laughs> the person who finds it does a discreet victory lap around the office and hides it again. Keep a sniff tally with your friends. What's a sniff tally? That's where you pinpoint an overused phrase used by one of your more annoying coworkers. Copy that. And you sniff each time he or she uses that phrase loud enough for your friends to hear. I thought a sniff tally was when you place bets each day on how many times that guy who has the cold always sniffs, coughs, or sneezes. No, but I do like that idea. That sounds fun. We should do it sometime. <laughs> 87 on Steve over there. Obviously, the best and easiest way to make work funner is to screw with your coworkers. Immature? Yes. But as long as the humor level is greater than or equal to the immaturity level divided by age plus seven, you're in the clear. Tweak a couple of your coworkers' family photos by printing off a perfectly sized image of your own face, cutting it out, and inserting it over the face of their oldest child in all of their photos just to see how long it takes them to notice. Hang back from lunch one day and meticulously swap all of the contents from two coworkers' cubes. You know what else is confusing? If you make a copy of one of your coworkers' keys and then move their car just one space over and then the next day another and progressively keep moving their car from where they parked it. And perhaps the easiest way to screw with a coworker is to take advantage of their unguarded computer. Take a screenshot of their desktop, then make that their wallpaper and get rid of all the desktop icons. I've been clicking those icons for days. Switch two coworkers' Bluetooth keyboards send an email from their account. That is funner. Wait, what? The scooter was alive and fine this morning. My dog is alive! And those are just a few... <clears throat> it's two. And those are just a few ways to make work funner. A big thanks to our sponsor, Constant Contact, whose easy-to-use email marketing tools mean that every small business person can be a marketer, which makes work even funner. Every small business person every small business person. Huh. Even shepherds? Yeah. Shepherds send emails to their staffs. <laughs> if you're a small business owner, you should totally sign up for the free 60-day trial. You'll even get an exclusive offer if you go to constantcontact.com slash Trip and Tyler. And the final way to make work funner is to scroll down below and read all of the comments that you're going to leave about how you make work funner. And do six of them. Oh, that's three. Four. It's not going to be 87. It is going to be 87. No, it's not.